Good morning from Laticrete Live. My name is Matt Snell. I am the Connecticut rep, also repping Western Mass and Hudson Valley area of New York, being joined by Glenn Adams, who reps the Northern New England territory. We're going to go over the latest addition to our, our Hydroman shower system today, briefly walk you through the parts and pieces, and then we're going to get into a full demo. Okay, packaging configurations available two ways. We've got full kits that contain everything you see here on the table. We've got a two-piece pan that comes in various sizes, pre-sloped, comes with a piece of fabric in the box to fit the, the top of the pan. We've got a full roll of fabric, 100 square feet, for those of you that still use uh, cementitious wall board. Curb, modular configuration, interlocking, comes enough in the box to fit the longest side of the pan. We've got an accessory pack here that's got in corners, out corners, pipe collar, uh, etc. Also comes with a roll of six inch band for sealing seams. Last but not least, comes with a tube of hydroband adhesive and sealing. Okay, additional to the kit would be the binding flange drain available in PVC or ABS in multiple finishes. We've got brush stainless, polished stainless, and oil rub finish. Okay, all of this comes in a kit or everything is available a la carte. We've got a package over here that's basically a pan. Okay, comes two piece pan with a piece of fabric. Additional to that, you would purchase curves in whatever increments you need, adhesive and sealant, bonding flange drain, anything else you need to complete the project. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna jump right into a demo. All right, so getting back to the install portion of this thing. Okay, Glenn's wiping down the substrate, as you would in any good tile installation. A couple quick things on substrate for the pan, obviously concrete, suitable. Uh, Three-quarter uh, Advantech style underlay that's suitable. You do have the ability to recess uh, your joists, drop sister in two by fours, uh, drop your main flush to the top of joists uh, with this style pan. Okay. What do we got? Quarter by three eighths trowel. Okay. We want to get a good key into the substrate as we normally would, right? When we're talking uh, large pans like this, we're talking coverage. We want to make sure we got maximum coverage. Give ourselves a good foundation. We got Glenn keying everything in nice. Um, quick note while we're talking about um, the mortar that we're, that we're using here is uh, one of our latest and greatest, basically what I call the best bag of adhesive on the market, um, Multimax Light. Really versatile, good for everything, uh, good for thin, good for thick, good for non-sag, interior, exterior, submerged, really no limitations. Glass tile, uh, can do anything you want with this stuff. All right, you can see Glenn getting a good bead of, of material here. We want to make sure we're getting as much material under here as we can. Okay, beautiful. Singular direction. Notice the trowel techniques. Beautiful. We don't want any swirls. Single direction. Nice. Great coverage. Typically want to back butter our pan. We'll get a nice thin, thin layer. It's going to help our bond. One of the things that, uh, that we sell to with any of our shower systems, any of our any of Lady Creek materials in general, is uh, the ability to use modified adhesive everywhere. Uh, we're, we're strong believers in using the best uh, material you can't afford for the job. So uh, regardless of uh, whether it's underneath the pan, sheet to pan, um, tile to board, um, any any instance with our shower systems, we're recommending modified adhesives. You have the ability to use unmodified if that question comes up, but we always prefer the highest strength material you can use. Okay, flop the pan in here. Again, two-piece interlocking. Alright, at this point we're just going to drop a level on it, make sure we're good to go. Pan is in, rough to rough. The notice perimeter of the pan has a half inch uh, rabbit cut into it, that's to accept half inch wall board. Uh, curves also have a half inch rabbit so it locks together very nice. Okay, you're going to see um, a little bit farther down the video here, we're going to be using adhesive and sealant in all of those channels. The question comes up a lot, if you need to cut the pan, 
Do you need to cut the rabbit back in? The answer is no. Uh, it is optional if you want to do so, uh, but as long as you're dropping uh, board or curb on top of the pan after it's cut, it will work fine, provided it's waterproof correctly. Okay, from here, next step is going to be to drop our bonding flange drain body in. A substantial amount of material here. See the notches cut around here? Give us some good mechanical grab, good surface body to grab onto here. Again, two inch, three inch, ABS, PVC, very versatile. quarter turn you're going to see that material ooze up through there no we got great great contact good grab things not going anywhere i want to just feather that out smooth that out key some of that material into the into the notches into the pan okay so as we discussed the adhesive and sealant right that's kind of the glue that holds this whole thing together we're going to talk about this a little bit more uh, but bonding flange dropped in next step we're going to put our wool board in be to that adhesive and sealant all the way around the back Okay, your wall board's just going to drop right in. Okay, this, this connection with the adhesive and sealant really fuses the board to the pan. Gives it a lot of structural strength. Um, obviously, it, 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 it is a waterproofing membrane, but also an adhesive, so it holds everything together really well. So we get that nice bead in initially. Okay, we've got our wall board up. All right, we're going to talk about a couple of our components. Uh, we've, we've, for a long time, we've had uh, preformed, pre-waterproof niches, benches, a uh, bunch of accessories, overlay curbs, uh, ramps, uh, extensions. We've got a lot of preformed, uh, pre-waterproof uh, accessories to go along. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to drop one of our niches in. So no, uh, no fasteners required. Basically just a bead of adhesive and sealing around the back. It blends applying, stud to stud. And again, just to re-emphasize, one of the things we love about all of our products is the ability to use a modified adhesive. We want modified everywhere, right? Strongest material you can use, never have any problems, okay? Another note on the board is, uh, and our sheet membrane and band, are they are all steam shower rated, so they meet the perm rating industry-wide for steam shower, whether residential or commercial, so another selling point. Right, so... Glenn will screw this thing off for a little bit, and uh, we'll get back in it and go over some of the waterproofing aspects that really start to differentiate our system from some of the other ones that are out there. Okay, so we're done fastening the board. Now it's time to drop our pan sheet membrane on. We're using a uh, quarter by three sixteenths V-notch trowel for this. All right, again, modified thin set, as always. Uh, same Multimax light. You'll notice uh, Multimax light's diverse. As I mentioned, it can be used as a thick... Uh, a thick bed material or large and uh, heavy tile mortar uh, or it can also be thinned out and used as a thin set um, so it's super versatile it can really be used for every aspect of this project so you're going to see glenn he's got a flat trowel fill in all the uh the, the the recesses into the pan and he's going to come back flip it over and and uh, notch the material in all right as i mentioned piece of fabric comes with the pan whether it's a la carte or kit um, the sheet is going to fit the exact dimension of the of the pan out of the box. Okay, we cheated a little bit. We pre-cut the hole just saves some time, uh, but pre-cut to uh, pan size helps out with, with speed. Okay, we're fully troweled out, ready to roll again. Maximizing 100% coverage, close as we can get. All right, Glenn's going to drop it in there. Again, one of the nice benefits of our sheet. Um, the way it's designed, it's very supple material, so it likes to fall into a thin set, whether it's on a, a floor uh, or if you're still fabricing uh, walls, uh, really, it really adheres and bonds well. We're going to comb out our additional material. point 
this is where we get to talk about a couple of the really cool things about this system. So when we, when we designed this thing, we wanted to uh, give the, the different installer bases out there some flexibility in the way that they can waterproof and tie this whole thing together. Uh, so we really have the most uh, options, if you will, out there of any manufacturer in regards to the way that you can waterproof uh, from this aspect. I and mean, obviously we've got a waterproof wall board, which is really the way to go. Uh, we've got the, the PPU pan uh, with a uh, fabric attached. Okay. But as far as treating coves, corners, screw heads, uh, knees to, to board, board to board, bench to board, uh, etc., uh, we've got three, three ways. Okay. We've got sheet membrane, which, as I mentioned in the kit and on the cart, in corners, out corners are available. Uh, if you're going with a sheet style system, you would cut a piece of fabric to cover your screw heads. Um, to, to band your, your board to board together, you can use this uh, for everything, okay? We've also got, and this is one of our, uh, our, our latest and greatest, one of my personal favorites, uh, is the adhesive and sealant. This material really is, is a fix-all. It can be used to waterproof the entire assembly. Uh, again, my personal opinion, it's the fastest way to go. You can see Glenn here uh, spreading. Generally, out of a tube, you're going to get enough material for about... 75 linear feet, which generally is enough to do a shower, but it basically is a, uh, a, a, a super, super strong adhesive and waterproof membrane in one, so its application is a one-stop shop and you're done, right? Uh, very uh, strong material in regards to expansion contraction, very little issue with, uh, with debonding or cracking due to any movement, so uh, we really love this stuff. Important, obviously, that you get a, a, a as with any waterproofing membrane, it's important that they, they are applied correctly. We keep pinholes in any material that's going to cause a problem, voids, gaps, things of that nature. So we don't want to skimp on this step. We want to make sure we got a nice, healthy bead of material in there, which uh, we definitely do here. All right? Moved all. A couple different ways of handling it from here. You can use a margin trowel, as Glenn is, flat knife, um, caulk tools, um, wet finger in a plastic glove, really any, any way, as long as we're uh, can, you know, keeping the bead nice, consistent, uh, it's going to perform phenomenal. All right? Another nice thing here, um, which to me is a good selling feature over the, the band in corner, out corner method is uh, build. We talked about build when you're talking about in corners on top of out corners and then a piece of band on top. A lot of times you get a lot of build, which with smaller tiles can really show uh, from an aesthetic, creating a negative aesthetic look, where uh, these two ulterior ways of, uh, of waterproofing minimize that or eliminate it altogether. So very little build with this method as well. Okay, last but not least, third method we've got waterproofing is our uh, beloved gold standard for liquid applied waterproofing, hydroband. Okay? Like any other application of hydrobands, two coat system. We do have the ability here to use a multitude of fabrics. Uh, you can see here where you're basically just using two inch uh, fiberglass tape, a cement board tape, if you will. Um, it's really sufficient for this type of installation. Uh, it just gives you a little bit of, of, of durability, extra durability in the corners. Okay, so that's all that's required uh, if you prefer to go that route. Okay, single coat, embed the fabric, wait for that to cure out, put an additional coat on. Uh, we've also got our six inch um, white 9235 waterproofing fabric that we can use in place of that uh, cement board tape. Or we have, again, the six inch ceiling tape, which needs to be thin set on. Quick note regarding steam sheet membrane, steam approved, hydroband board, steam approved, liquid hydroband by itself, not steam approved. So if we're building a steam shower, we do need to treat all of the seams. Um, pan to board, board to board, niche to board, etc., uh, with the sealing tape. Okay, screws we can still use liquid hydroband for steam, but everywhere else we do need to use sealing tape. Okay, see Glenn painting this on here. Mill thickness is, is the standard for these type of applications. Okay, treating the niche the same way. We got two inch fiberglass tape. Again, two coats of liquid, you're good to go. Screw heads, two coats, liquid only, no fabric required there. Piece of cake. Also have the ability to use the adhesive and sealant for screw heads. Uh, also use adhesive and sealant for board-to-board -board connections. You just apply a bead of, of sealant on top of your board, drop your next piece down, strike it. Uh, if you get good contact, you can strike that flush. If not, just put a small bead on, flat, flat tape that. You're good to go. So really, when we talk about the, the, the benefits of this system, we're talking about steam shower rated. We're talking about modified adhesives everywhere. Um, 
one of the huge ones, full Laticrete system warranty. So we've got shower components, adhesives, grouts, and sealants, uh, all Laticrete. So depending on the installation, up to a lifetime residential system warranty. That's huge. Okay. Um, then again, the biggest differentiator, especially from a time perspective, and, and time is money, is, is the ability to, to waterproof in a couple different ways that are, are really unavailable through any other manufacturer. Uh, the adhesive and sealant, my personal favorite. Glenn's a big proponent of liquid hydroband. Either one of them work beautifully. Again, very small build, very rapid, rapid cure system. Okay. Last component to go up. Second to last component to go in. We're going to put our uh, our top ring on. Okay. Again, got notches cut in here. It's going to give us good mechanical grab. We're going to anchor onto there. All right. Our grates screw in. So adjustable for really any size, any thickness material. Again, just going to put a bead of, of uh, mortar around. Want to get good contact. You're going to see it ooze up through the uh, channels there. A little bit more material on top. Strike it nice, and you got a great, perfect pitch. Excellent. All right, last component to go in is going to be our curb. All right, method, it's the same. Again, multi-max light. Back to the larger size trowel, quarter by three-eighths. Want to definitely get a good bed here, right? Want to good contact. Um, we mentioned curbs are modular. Uh, this is in an effort to, to minimize skews, make it easier to warehouse, to distribute. Um, so it's modular. They interconnect. So you got a male and female end on each. Okay. Interlock together. Again, half inch rabbit cut out of them. So we're going to lock into the pan nice, which means bead of adhesive and seal all along the way. Butter a little bit, make sure we get good contact. Uh, one thing to quickly note on any styrofoam curb, uh, glass doors that are lagged into the wall, no problem. If you've got a hinged glass door that needs to go into a curb, styrofoam curbs are no good. Uh, we, we, at that point, you've got to go to a framed out, traditional wood framed out curb, which we do offer a curb overlay in. Uh, it's a nice horseshoe shaped piece of, of pre slope, pre waterproof material that slips right down on top of two by fours, then you can lag into. So. Uh, hinged glass doors, no good with, with styrofoam curves. All right? Boom. Got them locked in. And then from there, we're going to apply a piece of sheet membrane on top. Back to our sheet membrane trowel. Three quarter by three sixths, or excuse me, quarter by three sixteenths V-notch. And maybe a little bit hard to see on the video, but we want to what we want to uh, make sure we, we get across on this component is obviously we want it well bonded. But on the shower side, we wanted a minimum two inch overlap onto the sheet membrane uh, to make sure we get good, uh, good waterproofing. Your adhesive and sealant between uh, the individual pieces of, of the curb are optional. Uh, certainly won't hurt. Not really required if you're putting a piece of fabric over the top of everything it's going to lock everything in nice together uh, but i do um, we prefer and uh, we do endorse the use of adhesive and sealant to wrap up and over the curb to tie everything into the board all right installation of our curb fabric going in again inside the shower we want a two inch overlap onto the pan Excellent. From here, last step, we just really have to waterproof our, uh, our junction here where the curb meets the wall. Again, we can do that any of the three ways. We've got the ins and outs uh, from a fabric perspective. We've got the adhesive and sealant, liquid hydro band with any of the fabrics that we discussed. You're good to go. So as far as uh, 
bonding flange systems go, the most versatile, the fastest easily in the industry. Uh, modified adhesive everywhere, steam shower rated, all the components, all the parts and pieces you need to make a full project out of it. So, available at your local distributors. We appreciate it. Reach out to your local Attic Creek rep if you've got any questions. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Cut.